know, speaking of live begins, I, love, I absolutely love Mike Lee said in the last show. That's what I was going to say. In the last show, uh, where I had Cassie here, oh, you and I started talking about something. And, and yeah. next thing I knew, it went to this kind of uh, very un Disney place. Well, not really, because you started talking about booty calls. <laughs> Right here. So, I can't help it. I mean, you know, he calls, I come. <laughs> <laughs> Works for me, girl. <laughs> she is. She, she's going to be the host next year. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> she's taking it down. I just love Cassie. Oh, she did. Every story. I love this. Hang on. I have fun. I really love this. And I'm so happy to have Susan back. Came out, Michael. They've written five scenes, five episodes. We're standing there holding the gun. I said, I, I, I said, I said, no, no, no. This will be Susan Haskell will make this work. Yeah. And uh, you guys did. It was just great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so how is it to be back on the show, seeing a lot of old familiar faces and working with some new, new faces as well? Is it just a great feeling for you? It is. I was a little nervous first. I'm thinking, this is so weird. It's just you walk down into where we work and I thought this is just the strangest thing and then I felt like I was at home. Yeah. yeah the crew and, and people that I knew and worked with and loved before and then all these young things. <laughs> all the cute pretty ones. I'm like, it's, no, it's great. I, it's, it's, I can't even tell you how nice it's been. Not, not like I one second of oh, oh and then yeah. it's just been Got right back. You got the yeah, right back, right? I'm very excited about finally we're gonna have some we've got a history to play, which is so great. And you know, we can do real flashbacks because I've always felt that Todd loved Blair because she looked like Marty. And so now we can really play that stuff and uh, hopefully it will come out and I get to kick her butt and you know. <laughs> Girl, boy. Listen, she can have Todd. <laughs> so politically correct, you know, you know, well, will it be John McBain or will it be Todd? She's like, oh, I'm done with Todd. <laughs> no, I didn't say I was done with Todd. What I said, I think Blair, at this stage of the game, it would be too abusive for her to go back to a man that has done so many bad things. And basically, he tells her to shut up. And I think as a woman, you, at a, there's a certain time when you go, excuse me, I've had enough, especially when you have a gentleman that's lovely. <laughs> Your first scene that you did on One Life to Live, maybe even your first line. 
and how you felt that day. I, I can't remember. remember my first line. I remember my first scene was with Kamar, and I was coming in at the bus station, and I kicked the vending machine, and I fell into his arms, and then we fell in love. Exactly how it happened. Does anyone remember that? Yes. No. Wow. How about you, Susan? I came in, I was in the hospital, because I had lupus, and it was with Megan. Um, Vicky's daughter was not very well, and I remember, because I was slopping around in my slippers, and I don't remember my first line, but that's where I was in the hospital, and they had to tell me, like, can you not be so loud with the slippers, because we can't hear you talking. I was like, oops. That was, that was it. I can't remember who I... Maybe it might have been with Erica, but I can't remember. Fantastic. I mean, just, it's just fantastic. I'm having so much fun. Um, yeah, go ahead. You. Give her applause. She's back. Thank you. I know. I can't believe I was away that long, but it feels like I never left. It's, just, it's great. It's really great. I, I'm back with like an angel. Thank you. Now, I, I think a lot of you probably know this. They do that at work, too. They come around. <laughs> Right. Susan's husband, Torsten, After works. After 10 years, you need more lighting. On all light. my children. So they're like, their studios are like, a, what, a block away? Yeah, yes. So do you ever meet for lunch? No. No? <laughs> we never, you know, it's so funny. We call each other once in a while. He came by the studio last week. It's like, and he oh, left. Lots, yeah, he left. But we don't have a lot of time. It goes, it goes so fast. Yeah. It's not like the old days when I used to, we used to go to the gym in between. Now it's like... It's so quick. I mean, sometimes we drive into work together, and you know, that's kind of nice. That's <laughs> cutest couple I heard. They're the cutest couple. That's they have fine. Beautiful children too. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You have. Uh, he has a grown son, and you have two young girls. Yeah. Grown son. Great. Right. And you have two girls. He has a grown son in real life. Yeah. No. No. Oh. Not that I know of. <laughs> wow. Wait till the motorcade tonight. That's what he said. The we last, the we last have a grown last. son together. You know, together. Full. Yeah. He was Patrick. Okay, that's where we got forgive that me, I read something incorrectly. That's right, no, that's what that is. We have a son together, our handsome son On Paul. the show. On the show. Okay. Marty and Patrick. Uh, but together we have two girls. Two okay, girls. so motherhood. Yes. What have you learned about motherhood, whether it be from on your character or in real life? My mom was right. You just can't imagine it until you do it and have it. And it is just, it, it, I can't, I get like teary just thinking about these kids, I can't, I'm so lucky. Aww. So lucky. That's sweet. Okay. Um, I'd really like to meet Zach Slater. <laughs> I think he's really, he's got like a scruffy thing going, and I would really, Michael knows him, so maybe you could help me out with him. Who's this? Zach Slater. Oh, Zach. I, I grew up watching your music. Oh, I know. <laughs> So I'm now, a big fan oh, I'm of telling you, I'm a telling huge you. fan. Oh, don't tell me. They've been saying that to me. I used to watch you when I was young. I was like, <laughs> don't say that to me in the line if you want a signed autograph. <laughs> uh, well, we have time for one more.
and uh, so it just didn't work until now, and I just kind of got enough sleep after having two of them that I thought I could handle it. And, and you know, Trish and I were holding it out. Yeah. Now, you, oh, you're screaming for him. Yeah. I know. I've heard that all day. George did play the sack on all like, my yeah, children. Yeah, can you tell your husband this? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Tell him yourself. Stand in his line. <laughs> so this year you're both here working. What's that like? I haven't seen him. You haven't seen him? No. I saw him some morning see you later. No, he came by. And I, I jumped in on his outer grab line for a second. He came to mind. We said hello. But we've got friends here and a wonderful girl that helps us take care of our kids. And they're playing and then we're going to play with them a little later. So it's, it's, are you kidding? My girls are like, they have no clue that <laughs> it's not always like this. Oh, that's that bad. people take them I get to ride with, you know, a chipmunk. <laughs> I'm going to be, like, really cool later when they see me with a chipmunk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we're, we're glad that you're working. When he crashed through the window. Yeah. Yeah. He did that himself. One take. He's, he he like, hit oh, his cake. I don't know if I remember you, but I really like you. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a fun it was. Right now, this is a storyline question for Susan from Phyllis in Atlanta and Barbara in Florida and actually many others. Will Marty forgive Tom?
Let me ask you, are you ready to party? Fans, are you ready to party? Then let's get this party started! Disney friends. I'm seeing the families out here as well.